I've already made a sort of part one to this video, so um, I suggest you watch that before you watch this one because it's kind of the first half of the game with me just playing it. But if you're here because you just want to see this, then I can quickly give you a brief recap of what's already happened. Tintin finds a ship one day in a market, finds some sort of hidden scroll inside which kind of just has complete gibberish written what? on it. He then gets mugged by some collectors who want the ship. He then follows them all the way to their secret Buckingham Palace. He also decides to just break and enter into someone else's property. He gives housekeepers skull damage. Dear God, Tintin gets addicted to opium. He also finds his ship in some sort of collection room because they're collectors. He confronts Severus Snape and his brother and then proceeds to beat the shit out of them. He searches both unicorns only to find that they're both empty. Turns out Severus Snape has the scroll. Tintin follows Severus Snape only to find out that they're planning to run him over with a fucking car. Tintin does some parkour. Then when he's cornered, he gets saved by these two random men. Huh? He then finds out that they're bad guys who want the scrolls as well, and he also becomes a victim of human trafficking. So now Snowy has to track them down to a certain ship where he's been taken. Snowy helps Tintin escape. Tintin starts roaming around the ship. He proceeds to use rope with the accuracy of a god and stumbles into Captain Haddock's room. He's important later, trust me. Tintin's goal has been to try to find the person who stole the scroll, which is this guy called Alan. He confronts Alan at the wheelhouse, gets a lantern thrown at him, beats the shit out of Alan and robs his corpse. He finds the second scroll and goes to confront Captain Haddock because he's found out that Captain Haddock is the descendant of the captain of Tintin's ship and uh, there's some sort of treasure going on there so he's asking Captain Haddock to tell him the story about it. After a little convincing, Captain Haddock tells the story of Sir Francis Haddock, his ancestor and also captain of the unicorn. We have this neat little section where I can have a complete spasm on the Wii remote. We find out that Captain Haddock is on opium as well as he's starting to destroy his own ship because he thinks he's Sir Francis Haddock in the flesh. Tintin snaps Captain Haddock out of his opium overdose and tells them they need to run. Then there's this little section where we're being chased by water over here because the ship is starting to flood like that. Tintin somehow escapes the sinking ship, has a plane conveniently land right next to him, finds Captain Haddock who somehow didn't drown. Then the captain tells us that Sir Francis Haddock sunk his own ship out of cowardice. Yikes. So now that we have two out of three scrolls apparently made, we're now trying to find Alan's boss has the final scroll. Right, did you get all that? Well, if you didn't, just re-watch it, because frankly, I don't have enough time to be wasting here. So now I'll show you the next two hours of gameplay, but also highly edited down, because nobody would watch that. I'm recording this, like, two days after I recorded the first one, so, um, if any of the uh, jokes I make are outdated, then, um, sorry, but I can't really control that. I'm also just lazy when it comes to recording. Okay, from what I remember, we're flying off to try and find Alan's boss now. What do you want now? The last scroll! What do you really want? So I guess Captain Haddock is also going to be joining us. That's something. And once again, here's a little loop-de-loo to prove that it's me. If you're going to try and find anyone else with gameplay like this, then good luck, because it doesn't exist. You alright, Captain? Since I met you. Target. Lock. I thought... We've been spotted! Alan must have told them we were coming! It's a trap! I think my mic corrupted in that first little section there. Those are also crumbling rocks, I kinda don't wanna crash. Well, shit. Let's just ignore that last bit, shall we? I'm good at this game, I promise. At the same time, surely they would be running out of fuel for the plane soon. There's no way they travelled across the entire ocean, ended up in a random desert and somehow didn't run out of fuel. Captain, we made it! We're alive! Out of gas. Called it. Well, they're dead. Th no, there's no way in hell they would be able to survive that. Oh my fucking god. Oh, great snakes. The captain. Billions of blistering. Oh. You all right, captain? Sand. Don't tell me. We're on the beach. Not exactly, no. It's not the beach, captain. Not at all. Who are you? Alan sent us. Wait, Alan's alive? I swear I accidentally contorted his neck and killed him. On your feet. We're taking you to the boss. You've got some explaining to do. And by the way, it wasn't me who sunk the ship. It was him. Why not keep your mouth shut? Hmm? You're giving me a headache. What?
Now that's what I call a headache. All right, Tintin. It looks as if we're on the same side. So we're now on a sidecar. That's cool. Also, are we just going to ignore how they've kind of just left those two men in the desert to die? If we don't uncover the secret of the unicorn first, I've lost the story. Oh, yes. I wouldn't want to stand in the way of a career opportunity. It's my job. And it's my life. You tough gun, ginger, boy scout. What in the world is... Ah, oh, shit. Osama Bin Laden's group has found us. Keep your eyes on the road. I'll take care of these clowns. Jesus Christ! I didn't know we'd be actually killing them. Those are straight up explosions! Just add 7,000 biker gang members to Tintin's death collection. Still got control, don't worry, we're fine. Also, what is that truck ahead trying to do? I now understand why Just Stop Oil do their stuff now. Alright, watch this, two in a row. Uh, Jesus, where the f did you come from? Professionals have stained it. Be polite. <laughs> Be efficient. Have a plan to kill everyone you meet. You're done, lad. Take in. Wait, what? Go on, take the shot. Oh, am I getting the slingshot now? Oh, I am. Press B. Oh, I'm gonna swat these guys like flies. Twelve seconds later. I am no longer swatting these guys like flies. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're coming out of everywhere. Ah, oh my God. Jesus Christ, how am I still alive? Ah, ah. Oh, oh, they've got guns as well. They're coming at us from every direction. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Oh my God. I think I survived on one health. Jesus Christ, that was so stressful. We made it, Captain. You're right. Mm, what a wonderful smell. The sea. We've reached the sea. What a... Now that's worth celebrating. I couldn't bear another second with all that sand. Time to go find out who Alan's boss is. He must have the third scroll. Now, if I remember correctly, this part is basically just talking to people trying to find Alan. How are we going to find Alan? We'll ask the people. Yeah, I'm right. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm gonna skip past all of this so you don't have to watch it. But it's like a reporter feature for Tintin. Wait, no. No, please. Don't, don't be. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I've just realised that some of the stuff that you talk about in this reporter section is actually kind of vital to the story and I've kind of just skipped past a lot of it. So I'll just play you the important stuff that you need to know. Everything else is kind of irrelevant. Excuse me, have you heard anything about a shipwreck off the coast of Bagar recently? Yes. Why? Have you seen this man before? The man in the photo? He hangs around a lot with Sidi Ben Salat. Smells like trouble. Who is this Ben Salad? A trader from around here. Why all these questions? And if you're a real Tintin fan, then you're gonna know who the person in the poster is right away. I know that opera singer. What is she doing here? Oh, she's giving a recital for Sidi Ben Salad, I, I think. Would you know by any chance where the shipwreck survivors from this morning went? I'm sure they'll be talking about the Sheikh Karim. It's the best place for gossip in town. Could you tell me how to get to the cafe Sheikh Karim? Keep walking down, it's at the bottom. Okay, I think this is the Shea Kareem that that man was talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you Kareem? What can I do for you? Okay, he is good. Was this man among the survivors of the shipwreck this morning? Yes, he was sitting right here just a moment ago. Goodbye. Snowy, see what you can do, boy. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to have to sniff him out or something. 
Press and hold, but yeah, yeah, we are. Okay. This town is a maze. How the hell are we even gonna find him? I think, yeah, okay. Tracks seem to be going all over the place this way. We've got to be close. There's no way he's just running around town somewhere and we haven't found him. I feel like we've done an entire loop of this place. Oh. Oh, that's him. Okay, right, go after him. Oh, jeez, how the hell did both of them run that fast over there? Good snowy! Out. This is a restricted entrance for Palm Grove employees only. Wait a minute. A European just went through, and he doesn't work here. He's a sailor. No European sailor has entered here. What? Thundering time. Leave it, Captain. Let's not start a fight. Yeah, smirk it off, big nose. What kind of Berber monster is that? What, his nose or his attitude? What in the world is Alan doing in a palm grove? The Aztec. Lincoln Pool. Ah! Hey! Be more careful, you walking cyclone! What? Me? Watch it yourself, parasite! Carpet seller? Freshwater pirate! <laughs> <laughs> Tintin, let me introduce you to Mohammed, my old shipmate and your true friend. <laughs> Bashi Bazook! <laughs> if Alain just went into the palm grove, then he must have used one of the secret entrances. Where is it? It's a secret, but I'll come with you. That way, you'll go unnoticed. Let's go. Okay, hang on. I'm still trying to process what's going on here. I mean, we've literally just put like a dressing gown over us. How, how is that making us a good disguise? It's like me putting on a dressing gown, putting a hood over me, taking off my glasses and saying I'm a different person. Where'd he go? Just doesn't seem like the most effective disguise I've ever seen. That's all I'm saying. Oh, come on. There's no way that worked. B Big Nose, you surely recognise us under these hoods. Come on. There's no way. That's just ridiculous. Uh, okay, where's the entrance here then? Is it this door? Oh. That is a nice looking palace. Oh, wow. I don't think that's what the inside's supposed to look like. Oh, yeah, Captain Haddock can give us leg ups, can't he? What is that? What is that? Is that some sort of mini submarine? What is that? What, what, what is that? What the f is that? I'm actually confused. What, what is this? Okay, so it is some sort of submarine. Oh, 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 I remember this section now. If you get hit once in this entire section, you have to restart it all. You only have one HP in this one because, oh, Jesus Christ. How did I forget about this section? This is like reigniting PTSD, but for my eight-year-old younger self. What? The opium's underwater now? Oh, sh there's more! Underwater mines! Why does an underwater section need this much security? <laughs> also, why did that explode? Uh, what's the point, eh? My ancestor's shame is in all the books anyway. But real truth doesn't come from books. It's in our blood. I've got to say, the throwable items in these games are just really fun. For example, I just sent those two men floundering down in some sort of neoarctic kiss. So it begins. I've got to question why it's so dark in here, because, frankly, I don't understand how this sort of very luxury place doesn't have any lights. Whoa, conveyor belts? Is this some sort of slave labour place? The boxes? What is this? Don't tell me this is some sort of drug dealer emporium. Right, got the power back on. Don't question why there are three dead men on the floor over there. Had to deal with them discreetly. That sounds so weird without context. Don't know why more people don't use a dead body as a defense mechanism. Perfect tactic. Uh, I can't do anything. Captain, can you do something? That works. Very delayed reaction there. Okay, I I'ma be honest there. Ca Captain, you were kind of useless considering that guy had a gun. You want me? Alright, don't beef with me now. Just saying. These puzzles are really random, I must say. Right, let's keep going then. 
Ah, oh, shit. I hope that doesn't happen too often. Near. <laughs> okay, coming up here. Were you by any chance a scout or something like that? You know, the captain's not wrong. How the fuck is Tintin so built? He's like 17. And the fact that he's beating all these adults to death is just a bit concerning. Also, what is this poisonous gas I'm holding? I'm sorry, what? How- how the f- What the fuck was that? Considering that this is a poisonous gas that Tintin's always holding, surely it's gonna kill someone if they inhale it. Like that? That also begs the question, how is Tintin not dead? He's got it right up to his nose. <laughs> Maybe he's just inhaled too much opium and now he can't tell the difference. Wait, hang on a second. That's the opium logo in the background. Is this the place where the opium is made? Oh, I'm going to absolutely murder the person behind this. Oh, God damn it. I hate these sections so much. How the f did I die? I never want to do another one of those sections again. Why do they keep exploding, man? Why do they always give me the heavy stuff to carry? Okay, I don't know whose smart idea it was to give this guy a landmine, but... Whoever did it, stupid decision. Okay, that guy has a key. Why do they all have such delayed reactions? I'm also questioning how a gas is able to break some sort of deep sea explorer suit, but uh... Okay. <laughs> Wait, that is the opium logo. The more I go into this, the more I'm starting to realize that this is some sort of massive warehouse right, that's underneath a really nice palace. Doesn't really make much sense. Okay, everything seems to be going well. But not for long. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we need to move now. No. It's more like a missile. That's massive! Uh-oh. They're coming from all sides at once! Captain, stop saying that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're sending so many people to try and fight us. I'm starting to think my slave labor theory might not be wrong. Either that or minimum wage. Jesus Christ, that is a lot of them. <laughs> so I've just discovered that there are nuclear bombs underneath this palace. Hope World War 3 doesn't happen. Wow. Is someone being tortured? It's Bianca Castafiore. She's a diva captain. A concert? You call that music? We've got to find Alan. Let's go, Captain. We mustn't get caught. Not a sound. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Danke. Merci. I love you all. <laughs> oh. Tintin, the little reporter from Brussels. You've come all this way just to interview me again. <laughs> oh, and who's your friend? <gasps> ah, Fisherman, surely? This is Captain Haddock, ma'am. He's your most devoted admirer. What? Caro mio, how exquisite to see that the power of opera can reach out to even the roughest of souls. Please, uh, join me. Did you hear my performance? Quel succès! A standing ovation! What did you think of the jewel song, Mr. Bartok? I'll never forget it. <laughs> Flatterer. Just for you, Mr. Hard Rock, a tiny encore. <laughs> oh, to read, to Madam? Oh, uh, yes, my little Tintin. I just spotted an acquaintance in the hall. Do you mind? Of course, my dear friend. Be my guest. I'll look after dear Mr. Shamrock for you. Huh? He'll keep me company during the intermission. Huh? Imbeciles. You mean to say the boy has two scrolls now? That must be Ben Salad. Tintin is indeed right. That is the infamous Ben Salad, which is Alan's boss. He's gained his riches by doing unknown activities, 
But as we saw underneath his little palace, pretty sure he's a merchant of death. They're leaving. I've got to follow. This palace is massive, so I don't know how we're gonna follow him. Right, over here. Oh. How about help don't tell me we can fly. Press and hold A. And let go to this set off. How do they keep getting stupid mechanics into this game? It's actually a little bit annoying how stupidly clever it is. Here. <laughs> Oh, shit. Wait, these things damage you? How does an insect- What, did, does it just suck your blood out like a mosquito? How does that hurt? Okay, we're inside now. Shake the- Oh, Jesus Christ. That's either massive head trauma, or just two dead people on the floor. Oh, so we don't get the parrot anymore. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Nothing bad's gonna happen though, so we're fine. No! <sighs> I hate these sections so much. How is it still daytime in this cutscene? It was like nighttime two seconds ago. Tintin has not been inside this palace for a day. I refuse to believe that. It looks like that Ben Salad is already very rich. Why is he interested in the <laughs> Love how he says these things so casually after just breaking someone's skull. Let's see if this barrel can be useful again. Hang on. Flashback. Oh, I remember this barrel. Um, you can basically hit people inside. And give them massive head trauma. I find it quite funny, actually. I mean, just look at these guys. That is going to leave them with mental scars. End of flashback. Yep, still gives them mental scars. Good to see. I don't want to get back in it. Come on, let me go beat the other guy up as well. Oh, shit. I don't think they can see you if you're in the barrel. You what, mate? Never mind, they can. Well, hang on, what do I do here? I, I can't get past him. Do I just have to wait up here? Nah, that's boring. Come get this ass. Fuck. Is there no good way to actually kill him. I refuse to believe that I can't kill him. I totally can. I just need to be smart. Yeah, I can't be asked. I'm just waiting now. I am so f***ing happy. Oh my god, f*** you. Thank god you're dead. I've never been so happy to beat an AI in my life. So Ben Salad sent Alan to get the bird oh, the my street. back. What? Uh, what? Why were those falling? This looks like some sort of unfinished construction site. It obviously doesn't have good health and safety regulations if their platforms are falling off. God, this could rival Qatar Stadium building safety. Trick shot time! <laughs> oh my god, that was sick! That trick shot was totally on purpose. That was not accidental at all. Stop the cow! <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, not again! More like Scoop! When they said fixing, I thought they meant fixings on a sandwich. Reggie, where are my resticles? <laughs> the third unicorn. At last, it's mine. Do you propose to steal it? Ben Salad. I know about you. I've seen under the palace. You're an imposter. You call yourself a merchant, but you're a merchant of death. And what are you? A sneak thief who has broken into my private home pretending to be a journalist. I'd have said we were very much the same. We're a world apart. But we're after the same thing. Ouch! Snowy! It's me, Tintin! <laughs> Even your dog cannot tell the difference. Huh? Hello again, matey. Now, why don't you hand over those scrolls? Okay, Tintin, what exactly did you think was going to happen there? Uh-oh. So, not only does he have bombs that he throws at us... Uh-oh! 
But now he also has a gun to shoot me with. <laughs> I'm just swinging up there. Okay, I'm throwing the poisonous gas at him. To be honest, I'd be surprised if he can take, like, one shot of this. Okay, right, let's go. Oh, sh**. He predicted me there. That's a little bit scary. Hang on. What? Gmod type crash there, what? Time for a bold play here. Hang on. Hello, Akbar! Alan just took that a point blank range. There's no way he's alive after this. No way. Help me! Alan! Dance! First off, Ben Salad should have just kicked the dog. Second off, how did Tintin climb all the way back up there? He literally charge tackled someone out of a window. Okay, so. Surely Ben Salad kept the scroll on him and didn't just leave it in the ship for a collection. Oh my god. The captain will know what to do with these scrolls. I hope. What do you mean you hope? <laughs> ten, ten. Thank heavens. I mean, thank heavens you're safe and sound. Oh, do you hear that? My public calls. I'll be back in an instant. Don't you dare move. <laughs> Fuck off! Tintin, that was a nightmare. Let's get out of here. Quickly. I have all three scrolls, Captain. Look! Blistering barnacles. Is it... Is it time? Is this what I think it is? Yeah! Happy feet! Wombo combo! So, Haddock, it's time to see if you still got your sea legs. As always, William. Right. Boom. Bap. <laughs> Chapao. Knockout. Jealous of my cozy hole, are you, William? Well, enjoy it with your new friends. Right, here we go. Montage time. What are we waiting for? Okay. Wait. So, let me get this straight. The fat guy takes more than one hit to beat. <laughs> fat shaming. This devilish handsome pirate is known as Red Rackham. They don't really say much in his profile, apart from him having really good refined manners and taste for fine clothing. So they're basically saying he's a really dapper pirate. It's between you and me now, Thunder. Who dares to stand between? Manners, Haddock. Where are your manners? One does not obtain an audience with me without certain formality. I feel molested. Right, spasm time. Oh shit. He's, he's dead. Forgive me. Oh, sh he's alive. Okay, block and bosh. Curse you, Haddock. Curse. 
Curse you and your lily-livered descendants! You will never escape! We'll follow you all the way to your accursed island in Brittany! Good for nothing! Major Captain! Huh? Captain, snap out of it! What did you just say, Captain? What did the pirate say to your ancestor? I think he has schizophrenia. Uh, uh, cursed haddock? No, after that. Good for nothing, mangy old cur? No, no, you just said, we'll follow you. All the way to your accursed island in Brittany. That's it, that's where we need to look. In Brittany, in France. What do you mean? Where's that? Northern France. It must be your ancestor's hideout. An island or a cave. Around here. <sighs> Are you ready to follow in his footsteps, Captain? Set a course for Brittany, Tintin. Okay, another biker section. Oh, I've done this before, so this should be easy. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, sh- Oh look, we're at the end of the level. We're not going to be driving like this all the way to Europe, are we? Don't worry! Over there! Look! A plane! I don't know if I should be happy or not. Chin up, Captain! This doesn't seem so bad. Is that a fucking blimp? Okay, Tintin's killed a sh ton of people in these last two sections. Head for Brittany! And where exactly in Brittany, if I may ask? You see this island? That's the one. I'm sure of it. You're quite a boy, Tintin. It's my job, Captain. Yes, and it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I got them all. Bet my lazy ass in editing forgot to show half of them. What the fuck? Back home at last. Perhaps things will quieten down now. Don't be so sure. Those bandits are everywhere! Like you! The ruins! This must be Sir Francis's hideout! Oh yeah, this section basically just wants me to take a bunch of pictures. That isn't the most entertaining thing in a video though, so I'll probably just... time-lapse it or something. Ah, lovely scenery, beautiful landscape, planes trying to shoot me down... Wait, what? Oh, hang on. See, not even a challenge, I'm just that good at the game. Ah, land. Now that's more like it. You alright, Captain? We'll have to make our way across. There's a way in. Let's go. Alan and his men went this way. Okay, some sort of cave. Uh, that's a stick. That's on fire. Oh shit, is that dynamite? Um. The key to the mystery of the three scrolls is here. Oh, okay. Bet me and editing will probably forget to show this little treasure chest here. Okay, so my stick is on fire, right? Yeah, okay, I thought that was... Yeah, makes sense. And the captain's just fallen to his death. Good, he's alive. Okay. Oh, another one for me in editing. Don't forget this one, alright? Okay. What the f*** is that? I guess that's physics. Ooh, another one. Once again, I'm probably going to forget to edit this in. Right, that's it. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Yoink. Huh. I think I have the right to ask what the hell that is. Oh Christ. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh shit. Go. 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 Okay, if I somehow forget this treasure chest, I'm probably just extremely lazy. At this point, I don't even know why I'm working for this guy, I mean... 
Maybe I shouldn't. What do you think, Mr. Sock Puppet? I should buy my stomach. Yeah, makes sense. Am I going crazy? What? What the? Huh? What? Uh, 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 what? Uh, where the fuck did he go? This treasure chest right here is probably impossible to miss. I don't think anybody would be that bad at editing. Okay, I'm going on my SoundCloud playlist now. I'm a little bit bored with this section. Twelve seconds later. Seguimos cantando. Seguimos bailando. Es un chill de carnaval. Pleno de felicidad. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, the captain. Okay, watch this. Guess you could say, liar liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Kill me now. Shit. What the f- Look at that man barreling around there. Jesus. Okay, Tintin's kneecaps should be shattered here. Okay, what is this? Okay. That was an impressive jump. Hang on. I don't know if... That might be a world record. I'll have to leave that to me in editing to figure out. Okay, so after a bit of research, um... The world record... <laughs> the world record... The world record for long jump stands at 8.96 meters. And, um... I have no clue how long Tintin jumped. Probably something under that. If it isn't, then... Jesus. But just to double check, I kind of searched for like an image reference of how long 8.96 meters was. I found this image of a ladder that was 8.96 meters, according to its description. If Tintin jumped that long, then um, I'd consider him not human. Or maybe it's just because he's ginger, who knows. But for me personally, I say it's a world record. New record! Captain, wait, hurry up. Ooh. That's cool. Oh god. As much as I respect Tintin, he cannot dodge all those bullets normally. It's a dead end. Louis, come take a look. Oh, okay. Yeah, the it's dog will solve end. everything, sure. See what you can do. I have made a fatal mistake! <coughs> We've made it! Blistering. <laughs> Barnacles. This place seems familiar. Have you been here before, Captain? Never. Right, hang on. Gotta go quickly check the Arsenal score. Give me a sec. Twelve seconds later. Yes! Five nil! Oh god, yes! We've probably bottled it by April, haven't we? Okay, so it's a castle. <laughs> oh, um, how do I deal with these guys? Oh wait, the ice. Oh, watch this, I'm about to trick style one of them. That was so clean. Hang on. Where's the captain? Oh. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, okay, captain, you can just sneak about while I have to deal with all these goons. Bit annoying how he doesn't have to deal with all of this. Well, meanwhile, I've got the entire puzzle caliber of this castle to deal with. What the? Oh, come on. God damn it. Dear Christ, my nunchuck is having an absolute spasm right now. What the fuck? I'm just too good at finding these treasure chests. If anything, I'm just too good at the game. In the business, we call this foreshadowing. Oh, oh my god, the fucking timing, man. Let's just ignore that. I I'm... I that that's not gonna happen again. We're, we're gonna be fine. Oh, oh! What the fuck? Oh my god, it was that easy, wasn't it? Whoa, what the f***? That's not safe. That's fun. Oh dear Christ. I think it's the fact that a parrot is able to lift up a human and fly as well. So Francis must have put these parrots on steroids. Why did the music change? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see now. Didn't realise Sir Francis had a torture chamber underneath his beautiful little castle. Yeah, would have been helpful to know that. So I'm flying over a bunch of deadly traps and risking my life. 
but I'm also using a parrot. Maybe my therapist was right. I probably should go get checked out. Oh, thank God the exit. This way, man. Wait a sec. Is that Alan? How the fuck is he still alive? I've contorted his neck and literally thrown poison in his face. This man is invincible. Whoa. Hold on. If you ask me, I think Elden Ring has copied something out of here. Captain! Hey! Captain! Oh, shit. Yeah. Where is the captain? Again. I feel like we've lost him too many times this mission. Wait, what? Wait. Wind physics? Wasn't expecting that. Okay, look, when I said I wasn't expecting wind physics, I didn't mean that in a sense where you're literally about to blow me off the thing. Jesus, this could give Scotland a run for its money. We meet again. What a pleasure. Oh, God, not again. Look, I'm not really gonna be bothered if I don't show this fight, because, frankly, this guy is invincible. Yeah, at this point, he's probably gonna come back more than William after does in Five Nights at Freddy's. <gasps> Captain! Captain, are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you, Tintin. Help me, will you? Let's go and find my... Captain, do be careful. Crosses. What do they mean? And this phrase, it is from the light that light will dawn. <sighs> the light. The light of day. I know this music. <sighs> mm -hmm. Go on. Please, please. Yeah! <laughs> They're coming under the ship's rail! New quarter! The shippers! To the death with ya! Back for more, I see! Yes, Sir Francis. Yes, I am. Activate spasm mode. Sir Francis, what are you worrying about? I can take all of these guys on with my spasm method. You do not need to worry. That easy. That's enough, Haddock. Let's finish this. Oh, come on. That's a dick move. He fought till the very end. They killed him? No. Regard me well, dog. I am Red Rackham. Your servant, sir. And I am Sir Francis Haddock. My ship is sinking, thanks to you. So I'm taking yours. My men are transferring all our booty now. Look. Oh. Did you come here just to tell me that? No. I came to tell you that those who annoy me pay dearly for it. Tomorrow, at dawn, I shall hand you over to my crew. And that flock of lambs know just how to administer a lingering death. It will all be over at first light. Tomorrow is still a long way off, Rackham. I'm just wondering how they lost. The ship is like 
ten times the size of the other one. Surely Hadouk would have more crew. By the great... Oh. Just you wait, my lambkins. Oh, and this is the scene from earlier. It doesn't play out the same, does it? on a time limit as well. Oh, he's still calling him back up. Mate, just fight me directly! I'm taking these guys out like flies. What is that? Uh, that's some fighting style, I'll say that. Here's Johnny! You're not getting away this time, you devilishly handsome pirate. Okay, we need to finish this quickly. How do we? Oh come on! We're not that bad, are we? Oh god, we might be. You're still clinging to your unicorn, eh, Haddock? Well, she's already given up on you. Right, let's go. Right, boom, bop, skadoo. The ship never abandons her captain. <laughs> Victory! Red Rack of the Snowball! Captain! You've done it! It will all be over at first light! That's the key! <laughs> Screenshot in half. It is from the light that light will dawn! See? So I've read the Tintin books, so I know that the trick here is just to put light over the three scrolls. So I'm assuming we have to line them up here. Hang on, give me a sec. Blistering barnacles! Those are coordinates! Longitude and latitude! The location of the unicorn treasure. We've got to leave this island quickly. Let's go! Hang on, Alan was there earlier though. Surely he's just going to capture us and try and take the scrolls. Miserable earthworms! God damn it, Captain. <laughs> Tintin, get out of here! Looks like it's all over, matey. Not yet, Alan. Not so clever now, are you? Well, this is what it comes down to. You give me the scrolls, or I send Haddock to the bottom of the ocean. Lubber scum! Pithencanthropus! Come on, make up your mind. The scrolls or he dies. You are the worst of villains. <laughs> A thief with no honor at all. Now, free the captain. This is your big moment, Ernie. No! Tintin, how did you not see this coming? Right, time to save the captain. Again. Yoink. Did you get the scrolls back? No. You gave them up? Alan will be long gone by now. We've lost everything. Is that what you think? If only we had noted those coordinates from the scrolls. Ah. You mean 51 degrees, 18 minutes, 21 seconds north? 3 degrees, 11 minutes, 41 seconds east? Yes. What? I am Captain Haddock. Direct descendant of Sir Francis Haddock. 
and I too have sailed the Seven Seas. The coordinates point to a location somewhere inland. I'd say Belgium, two miles northeast of Brussels. Marlin Spike! Watch your language! Where the first scroll was discovered! Then that's where we're going to! Aye, aye, Captain! Hold on for your life, Tintin! Anchor away! <laughs> God damn it! It's been a while since we've been back here. Thundering typhoons. Now those are some fine quarters. Let's go. Discreetly. Coming? Captain? Dear Christ, don't say that again. Tintin, hand me the unicorn drawing, will you? This isn't what I think it's going to be, is it? They fit together perfectly. Now we know where to look. Oh, okay. What is going on here? Oh, right. Balan's men are fighting the butlers. And I now have a piece of night armor on. Okay, right. This guy is the key. Oh, wait, hang on. Holy shit! You're telling me that one punch from night armor can just shatter another piece? Jesus. Hang on, let's test my durability here. Yeah, they can't hit me in this. If I was able to jump in this, I'd be using this all the time. Then again, it would be kind of a cheat code, though. What's that? What's all this? So, what do we do with that? I think I know. Let's go back to the naval room. I sense a massive puzzle coming up here. They fit together? Let me see. Oh. And voila. This one does too. That's all three of them. Let's try lining up the three circles. I'm sorry, what? Okay, I got it eventually. Seemed a little bit weird though. It's moving! Eureka! Congratulations, Haddock. You've done all the work for us. Get these intruders off my property once and for all! Every last one of them! Okay, in his defense, we have broken into his home, like, two times at this point. Okay, they're down. Wait, hang on. Are there multiple phases? Oh my god, how many are there? Jesus, that was like, too long. Yeah! Captain! Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you, Tintin. Whoa, that is a cool shot. I might save that as my wallpaper later. That looks sick. Haddock! Alan! Stand back, Tintin. It's up to me <gasps> to put an end to this. One last spasm story. time? Please. He's oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Boom. I Bap. Chapau. I'm pretty sure in other versions of the game they show you Alan falling off the bridge. I'll see if I can find that now. Ah, that's better. Oh, oh, we're playing as the captain now. Aw, oh, I wish we could play as him more though. That's sick. Look at me. I'm so much taller than Tintin. Treasure of Red Rackham. You're right. Look, look. Blistering treasures. It's Red Rackham's barnacles. We found it. <gasps> it's amazing. Emeralds, rubies, lots of shiny things. They're magnificent. And there's something else. What's this, Captain? A deed of some sort. Oh. <gasps> Signed by 
the king. I, Charles II, my name is desiring to reward our loyal and beloved knight, Francis Haddock, for his daring and bravery in devoted service of his country. His daring and bravery. Do hereby grant him and his descendants the great manor of Marlinspike. Hey, does that mean all this is mine? What's that? Let's go see. There! Stop what you're doing! You're under arrest! Hey. To be precise, hey. stay where you're resting. Hey. You're under a stop. Who are you? I'm Thompson. And Thompson. We're police officers. officers. Wow, they did their introduction for me. He's the owner of this manor. Hands off, tetrapods! Why, if it isn't our young friend Tintin. Precisely, it's Tintin, the young reporter. What are you doing here? We received a call about shots being fired, and the alarm was raised. To be precise, someone raised a call and shot the alarm. Uh, this is the captain's home. Mm -hmm. He's a brave and honest man. Someone you can count on. Thank you. All right. Everyone's coming with us. We'll sort it out later. Are my ears full of water again? Or did I hear you say someone you can count on? To be precise, yes, Captain. A friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, that's the end of the game. Watch your language! This is one of my favourite games ever. I remember playing it so much when I was younger and it was just so much fun. So I'm glad I was able to play it again. I mainly got inspiration to make this sort of playthrough of the game because I saw a video of a channel called Mind Pulp playing like the first bit of it. I decided to do my own videos on it with my own type of editing just to see what it was like. And I like playing games. Honestly, while it does take a long time, it's fun editing and it's fun to do. And there are so many other games I'd want to play and just share my experiences with so i hope you guys can enjoy that in the future there is a two-player mode as well so you never know i don't think i'm done with this game yet might be a fun experience just to play it with someone else i said in the last video that this part two video would be out by the end of march i might be a little bit late so sorry about that so thank you for watching if you've made it this far then you don't have a shitty attention span good job and until next time see you in the future